what's up my yarny peeps fellow fiber fanatics that's um, one of my new terms i'm going to start using it yarny peeps and fiber fanatics hey because that's what we are right fiber fanatics and yarny peeps all right so today i have an unboxing of some new yarn from premiere now first i will say that i'm not affiliated with the premiere nor any yarn company i buy bought this yarn and all the yarn you see myself I don't get free yarn and um, I don't have affiliate links for Premier nor for any other yarn company so that means if you buy the yarn I don't get paid I don't care if you buy the yarn I'm only here to tell you my honest opinion about it are you, you guys ready to see it so I like Premier yarns a lot um, there's not too many of their yarns that I don't like um, really to tell you the truth I can only think of just a couple off the top of my head that I mean I like them but I don't buy them you know all the time but um, but anyways I went to their website uh, 10 days ago or so and I noticed they had some new yarn so I ordered it because it's part of my job here on YouTube keep my yarny peeps and my fiber fanatics up to date on the new stuff tell you my opinion on it tell you if I like it a lot of people trust my opinion I really appreciate that I try to give you my best and most honest opinion about it oh i love looking in a new box of yarn okay let's see oh gosh it looks beautiful okay i'm gonna get ready to get to their new yarn <clears throat> okay i'm i'm at their new yarn now okay <laughs> there's a few different new yarns here and let me bring them up on the screen so i can tell you how much they are regular and how much they are um when they are on looks like some of them are on sale and some of them are not okay this is new this is Rosetti Yarns. <clears throat> okay. It is roving style, as you can tell. Oh, that's a pretty brown. It's a pretty chocolate brown. Brown's my favorite color. It's nice, scarpable, roving style yarn. It's nice. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see what, what it is. 70% wool, 25% nylon, and 5% cashmere. I would never have guessed that that was 70% wool. You cannot tell at all. I would have guessed that that would have had more acrylic and polyester in it. That's nice. That's nice for it being 70% wool. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. And it is a bulky five, which is my favorite. I went to make something out of this. Okay, um, and I like it that has a little bit of cashmere in it. Cashmere is my favorite. Um, but, yes, it is expensive, so I don't really have much of it. Anyways, 109 yards. Whew. But it is a bulky five. And it says to hand wash and lay flat to dry. This is made by Universal Yarns, okay? Yeah, Premier Nut sells Universal. And it is made in Turkey. Um, the collar I have is collar 602, um, 109 yards, bulky number five, a little bit of cashmere, 70% super wash merino. Wow. I like that. Okay. So on, um, regular $10 on sale for seven right now, today, one sixteen twenty one twenty twenty one. They have it uh, for five sixty a ball. That is cheap. Actually, that's not a bad price for this. Actually, I know you, it's not a lot of yardage, but you got to remember it is a bulky five. It is a roving style. It is uh, almost. I mean, it's a wool acrylic cashmere blend. It's a nice fiber content. That's a, about a perfect bulky five. I mean, this has got everything going for it to be a very, very nice yarn for me. Brown's my favorite. Roving style is my favorite. Um, bulky five is my favorite. I love cashmere, even though there's only five percent. But wool is my favorite. This is a beautiful. Keeping that. A lot of this stuff I unbox, I'll put in giveaways. But every once in a while, I get a yarn and I'll be like, keeping that, keeping it. Okay. That's all I got of that one. Let's move on to the next one here. This is the Rosetta Rosetti 
I don't know if I'm saying that right. Rosetti. Um, Alaskan yarn. <clears throat> what was that one? Cinema? That's right. Alaska. Okay, so. Tape. Now, I know I have had this before, but a, I think. Let me see. It's new, but I believe Hobia Yarns sells this also for a lot more money than what, um, well, for a little bit more money than what, uh, well, gosh, that's soft. Okay, let's look at it. It's 44 acrylic. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. So Alaska is what it's called. It's by Rosetti Yarns. It's 44 acrylic, 26% polymide, 15% fine merino superwash, and 15% alpaca. Nice, nice. 50 grams, 225 meters slash 246 yards. Lightweight number three. Yes. Hand wash, lay flat. It's made in Turkey. So this is a universal brand of yarn. That is super, super squishable and soft. That would be beautiful for... Um, oh man, a lightweight uh, garment. It's like uh, cloud soft is what it is. You know? Okay, so yes. Um... What, this isn't going to be, though, for everybody when you look at it. It is fuzzies. Fuzzies. Which means that sometimes that can be very hard to crochet with. This might be easier for a knitter to work with. I'm not sure. I don't knit. But um, if you uh, crochet with it, it's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be something extremely lightweight. Beautiful, lightweight cow top shawl. Um... That's so nice. Look, it's just like, it's like nothing. It's so lightweight. It's beautiful. Um, this would be something, like I said, I do have some of this here um, because um, uh, Hobium sells it. And I bought it when, whenever Hobium got it new on their site. So, let's see. Um, on, on Premiere, on a regular day, it's $7. Now it's $2.99. And that's what it was when I bought it. I remember it was $3 when I bought it. Which is cheaper than what Hobie and has it for. And that's why I bought it. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. But, unfortunately, the Lightweight 3 is not my style. But, anyways, this is made in Turkey. Because it's uh, um, from Universal Yarns. But, 246 yards for 3 bucks of this uh, acrylic polymide... Uh, merino alpaca blend is a good deal and it's super soft so i mean it's beautiful <laughs> the color that i have here is called uh peach puff oh that's so um um appropriate and you can see the color there a little darker maybe but nah it's pretty close peach puff i like it that's a lot of pretty colors in it very pretty. That's a nice yarn. Three dollars is a good deal. Three dollars is a good deal. Okay. Um, oh, I got some more of it. This is the same, but it's blue. These will probably be going in giveaways, but I like to get new yarns to tell everybody about them. Like I said, this is the color of this one. is called... Um, a Frozen Pond. Very pretty. So it's like a baby blue. Very, very pretty. I don't know why that, uh, yes, they are very soft. Very nice. Very nice. Mm. I could almost sleep on them like a pillow. Okay. Oh, if you enter my giveaways, I must warn you that you're probably going to get yarn that I've hugged. So, if you don't like that, you don't, you know. You never have to enter them. I'm just warning you right now. Anyways, but <laughs> I'm going to move on. Okay, there's two more new ones here that I was extremely interested in getting. Let's check them out. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> All right. Well, let's look at these new yarns from Premier. This is Premier Rio. Premier Rio. It's fuzzy. Let's read about it. I like the way it's uh, caked up, kind of. square caked a bit I guess I don't know <laughs> I don't know let's see there's 608 yards or 556 meters seven ounces 200 grams it is 46 percent acrylic 44 polyester 5 percent wool 5 percent alpaca medium weight number four they classify that as a medium weight number four because they're taking into account that fuzzies that are coming off of it but otherwise it's on a twisted strand if you can see it Hand wash, lay flat. Premier, Premier. Why are you telling me where your yarns are made? Made in Turkey, okay? The color I have here is called cotton candy. Okay, first off, it's it's very soft because it's got that fuzz around it. You can see the collars there on this one. I think I got one of every color, I, I think, if I can remember. So its main color is pink, but when you look in it, you can see the twisted strands there of different multi colors. There's blue and yellow in it. It's a very pretty yarn. It will be a bit difficult to work with for some, as you can see, because the fuzzies will get stick. But it will produce a halo um, on whatever you're making. Now, if you're not familiar with the term halo, halo is what some people like to have halos on, um, especially sweaters and stuff they make. The halo is fuzz that sticks off of it. You see that? That would be considered the halo. Some yarns produce halos, some don't. Um, but that would have a nice halo, I think, on it once you got something knitted or crocheted up with it. I like things with halos. They're very pretty. I like fuzzy yarn, and I like this yarn. It's very pretty. But again, it's not going to be something for everybody because of the, of, of the fuzziness of it. Um, I will work with it and do a more formal review. It is, like I said, a medium weight boat number four. I would say, I would say though, that the strand that it's on is like a three weight, and then they uh, probably account for that fuzz to make it a four weight. So, seven ninety nine a ball, seven ninety nine, which is a bad for six hundred eight yards. So I got this one. It's called Cotton Candy. My little girl Rose will love this beautiful stuff. So there's two there would make, I and mean, that's 1,200 yards there. A little over 1,200 yards. That's enough to make something like poncho, big shawl, uh, uh, sweater, depending on what stitch you're using. So I could probably pretty much make what I wanted to make with that. I don't do blankets too often. Maybe once in a while, but I never do big ones. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I'll show you the other colors here I got. So. Here's a purple. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got such a beautiful halo hanging off of that. But remember, though, I just want to remind everybody, this isn't going to be for everybody. I think it's a gorgeous yarn. I think Premier did a very nice job. I like fuzzy yarns, and I like yarns that have halos, even though they are uh, difficult to work with. Um, and even though this is a bit thin for a four weight, I will still... Uh, use one of these colors i'll keep one of them probably put the rest in good waste but um to make something out of <clears throat> because it's so to me the pro outweighs the cons on it it's so pretty that is beautiful stuff so this one is called this is another color they had wisteria oh it's so appropriate i have a huge wisteria vine on my house in case you didn't know i used to be a landscape designer before uh, I gave that up to homeschool my children when they became of age. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> I used to be a landscape designer. But in, So I got lots of trees and flowers and plants in my yard. I have a wisteria vine that is on my house that it's probably been on there about, oh shoot, 15 years now. And it just climbed up my house and up the top of it. And when it blooms wisteria, it's purple wisteria. It looks just like this exactly this color um it is so pretty it, it just as this is so instead of i was i just saw this and when i see wisteria that is such an appropriate color for my wisteria not all wisteria is purple but mine is and it's just it's the exact color as this this is so pretty 
So you can see that the main color and your halo on it will be purple, all those fuzzies. But when you look in it, there's some blue in it. A little bit of, a little bit of tan, not much. And some purple running through it. But that that's very beautiful. Oh, I like that one. I don't know. What do I want? Which one do I want to keep? Do I want to keep that one or the cotton candy? I don't know. There's two more colors of this, I think. Uh, I may not. I try to get every color so I can show you guys. Because usually uh, my camera shows up pretty true to color. Um, as far as. But really it depends on the device that you're looking at. So. But anyways, we got another one here. This is pretty neutral. This one's called Slate. Again, very, it's still a very pretty, um, wonderful, wonderful halo. So the main overall color is gray. You look in there and you see tints of blue and white running through it. That is some pretty yarn premiere. Good, good job. Well, for me, this is my, I like yarns like this. I just have to, I, I I know I keep repeating myself. I just don't want to steer anybody wrong. This is not going to be for everybody because of the fuzziness on it. But if you love yarns that can make you a good halo um, or you don't mind fuzzy yarns, this is very, very pretty. Ah, oh, that's pretty. Okay, I think there's just a couple more colors of this one. And then I have one more brand new one to show you. I told you these were $7.99 each and that's for 608 yards. That's not a bad price in my opinion okay again very beautiful yarn premiere you did good this is so pretty what color is this one spring green very pretty there it is so the main color is the green and then when you look inside you see colors of very light tans blues light blues greens that is so pretty I'll never be able to decide which one to keep. I like all those so far. Now there's one more color here, and then I have one more yarn to show you, and then I'll skedaddle off of this video so you don't have to listen to me anymore until I put on another video later. <laughs> okay, this one is called Cream. There. This looks like, gosh, it's soft too. Very scarfable. Mmm. Trying to think of what I would make with this. Guys, the limits really very pretty pink you know i love brown and i love earth tones like uh, copper and mustard and stuff like that but i love a good pink too don't get me wrong hot pink regular pink my daughter does too that pink's pretty they're all pretty though okay so this one is cream this is their last color that they have i think i got one of every color to show you guys the colors and like I said, these were seven, these are seven dollars piece, seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Yeah, five colors available at the moment. Look at that one. So the overall color is white, off white maybe. Yeah, probably maybe a little bit of a between white and off white. I don't know how you explain it, but mainly look at all the colors inside those the strings. There's greens. There's blues there's light browns it's so pretty that is a pretty one too uh that's just like all colors with the white halo that's going to be on it oh wow that's pretty that's beautiful beautiful stuff okay good job on that one uh that's just my style though premiere you got me with that fuzzy yarn <laughs> good job okay i got one more new yarn here to show you from premiere and then I will move on to my next video. This is new from Premier. Premier Fez yarn, I guess is what that's called. I like their cake shape. It's like, these are like, they're cakes, but they're like square kind of. This one's like, I don't know, coney square, kind of like a beehive or something. I don't know, but this is what it is. Premier Fez. Let's look at it. Let's read about it. Premier Fez, 464 yards, 424 meters, 7 ounces, or 200 grams. Now, this is 73% acrylic, 15% polyester, and 12% polyamide. It is a bulky five, my favorite. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. 
Ooh, it's soft. <laughs> There's not one yarn that I didn't pick up today that was not scarfable and soft. Every yarn I showed you today is very was is soft. Some softer than others, but man, they were all very soft. Um, they all passed the uh, I would wear it as a sweater or anything. I'd roll around in it with clothes on. No, I don't. I'd roll around in it and yes, it's very nice. Oh, that purple is gorgeous. This purple is very pretty. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, so it's a bulky five. It's got sparkles in it. Mm, I love sparkles too. So this is, again, it's going to be another fuzzy yarn. Now it's bulky five, which I agree with. It's similar to some other yarns on the market. Um, it appears to be chain spun with a streamer running through it. Very soft. See the fuzz. Might be hard for a crocheter to, uh, if you mess up, to um, pull your work out. I don't care about that. That's my dog, Clark. Sorry, he's a bloodhound. He's barking at the cats, probably. Okay. So this was, did I tell you everything about it? 464 yards. Clark! Shh. Made it. Made. Okay. So sorry about that. Okay, so this is very, very pretty. And see the color changes in that? Oh, that's so pretty. It's such a pretty purple. Looks like a beehive, doesn't it? Now, this for yarn here reminds me of another yarn that I that I have. I, I just cannot put my finger on it at the moment. I'll think of it later. And when I think of it, I'll put it in the comments. But it is quite beautiful. Again, not for everybody, but for me, yes. Again, it's got everything going for it that I like. I like fuzzy yarns. It's super scarfable. It's sparkly. I like the bling. I like the bling on anything, even in my yarn. And <clears throat> it's a five weight. I love bulky fives. And I would consider that an accurate five weight. I wish I could tell you what other yarn it reminds me of, but at the moment I just can't. So this runs $7.99. And that is 464 yards of a bulky number five. I really, again, I don't think that's that bad. I really don't for as soft and as pretty as this yarn is. Now you see the sparkles, they are quite subtle. You know, I have a yarn that's way blingier than this, but I don't mind the subtle sparkle either. But it's not so subtle that you can't see it. You can definitely still see it. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. The color, the color is this one. I'll just look on their site. Deep purple. Man, that is beautiful. Another nice one, Premier. Hugging on this yarn. Beautiful. Premier Fez. All right, I have a couple colors of that to show you. I wish, I wish. I knew what it reminded me of, but I don't, I can't think of it. Oh, this one's more square. I like the square cakes. Okay. So this is orange and gray. It's got some cardboard stuck in it from the box. All right. Very pretty. Um, it's going to be... Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't even know this. Look at the... the uh, description said this bulky acrylic blend yarn and a beehive ball remember i saw it look like a beehive that's so cool i didn't know that um has a bit of sparkle it's great for do-it-yourself wearables or decor pieces available in a blend of soft and bold colors this brush colors yarn is perfect for making scarves sweaters and accessories i would agree with you on that premiere i think this is another wonderful job you did and i again i, I think the beehive cone shape is pretty cool it's a neat it's better than your bobbins okay i didn't really particularly like your bobbins premiere but man these are awesome I, you know this i mean not just the way they, they're shaped but just the overall it's very nice yarn so this one is uh did i tell you terracotta i like the color of terracotta so it's gray and the terracotta orange colors very, very pretty with that hint of sparkle so soft so pretty Bulky five, 
gorgeous sparkles in there. I can't tell. It looks like it's going to be like, uh, you'll get some solid orange in there. And then you're going to get some solid gray. And then you're going to get some spots that are uh, splotchy like this. Uh, both of them mixed, which is really cool. So I can't wait to see. see. I got 464 yards. I got two of each color. And that being a bulky five, that will make me anything that that I would want to make out of it. It would make me. So <laughs> I won't. Uh, I got enough to make that. Here's another color. <clears throat> Ooh, I love black. Gosh, that's so soft too. What do you do? What do you do when you like them all and you can't choose? Huh? What do you do? You buy them all. And then you give some and giveaways. But then I don't know what, which ones to give. Again, this will have a slight halo, but not as much as the other one. But it is beautiful. That black is beautiful. Black. I like black. I just, this will probably be one I have to give away because unfortunately black and white are not the best colors for me to make crochet tutorials with. But it is beautiful. I love it. I still might uh, use it. Night sky. That's the color of this one. Oh, so soft. So again, you're going to get some solid white in there. It has the sparkles. You're going to get a mix of white and black, which looks kind of gray. And then you're going to get some stripes of solid black in there. And you'll go back to solid white, I guess. Or some order you'll go into as far as the striping effect takes place. It looks like the striping effect could be a little bit long. And it looks like it's going to gradually change. Like, if it starts out with black, I'm just, I don't know what it starts out with. Each scheme will be different. But say it starts out with black. And you get a stripe of black, however long it may be. It looks like it's going to gradually go into a mix of black and white. And then gradually go into the bright white. And then back into a mix. So it'll be a slow gradient. I'm only assuming, by the way it looks now, I can't tell you for certain. Because I haven't crocheted with it. But I would that would be my guess. It would be a gradient changing yarn. Very beautiful. I'm flipping out of Kamara's new yarns. I love them. I have one more color of it. And it its beauty is no exception to the rest. Midnight blue. Come here. You did this to me. Gosh. So pretty. That is beautiful. If you go to the website, the website is pretty accurate on the color. As, as I'm looking at it. Again, it's going to depend on the device that you're looking at. But, if you look at it on their website, um, their colors that they're showing of these are um, accurate, pretty accurate to what you'll get. So, um, as far as what it's showing for me, it looks pretty dang similar to the picture on the website. Again, depending on your device, but mine looks pretty close but anyways it's <clears throat> very pretty anyways it's really a royal blue and down to a navy navy is my favorite color blue it's very very gorgeous yarn oh that's pretty okay premiere you won me over on your two new on your new yarns okay that's all the colors they have they only have four of those okay the fez yarn is freaking gorgeous sparkle bulky five fuzzy soft beautiful i think the yardage amount is fair compared to the price it's beautiful you can always find premier uh discount codes too if you look on look uh on the internet usually you can find some that is beautiful that's the fez rio again gorgeous it's gonna have a beautiful wonderful halo on whatever I make. I can't decide what color I'll keep. It's going to be between the pink or the purple and I'll probably make my daughter maybe a sweater out of it. Maybe me. I don't really wear sweaters but I do like halos on things. So okay so the Premier Rio. Very very nice job Premier. Again you got me with both of these yarns. They're everything that I love. I like fuzzy yarns. I like yarns with halos. The bulky five, I think the prices are right on for the yardage. <sighs> Very beautiful. And this one, 
I would never guess that that had that much wool in it. It's very nice. The Rosetti, even though this is a universal yarn, Premier does sell universal. But mainly their new ones is the Fez and the um, Rio. Oh, um, the Alaska is new, but again, that's universal too. So if I had to choose a favorite between the Fez and the Rio, I could not choose, I do not think. Mm. I might go with the Rio or the Fez only because it's a bulky five. Um, they both have things I love about them. So I like the halo more. There's more of a halo on the uh, Rio than there is the Fez. But I do like the sparkle and the uh, color and the thickness of the Fez. So it would be very hard for me to choose the colors in the Rio are beautiful. I don't know. I like them both. It's a toss up. I can't choose. Premier, if you're watching, excellent, excellent job. For me, these are my type of yarns. Now remember, I'm just going to say that one more time. These aren't going to be for everybody because they are going, they're fuzzy. And they are super soft. Um, but fuzziness sometimes when you crochet is hard to crochet with. Um, especially if you make a mistake. Simple stitches are what is what's going to work best for this type of yarn. This is some types of yarn you get. Um, it's mainly the yarn that you want to focus on on your project, <clears throat> not the stitch that you use. So it's important when you design something that you choose the right yarn for the stitch that you're using. You want to either show off the yarn that you're using or you want to show off the stitch. Sometimes you can do a combination of both if you pull it off just right. Um, this yarn would be the type of yarn that you would want to show off the yarn as opposed to the stitch because it's it's not going to show any too many textured stitches. I mean, it might show some bobbles a bit, but um, pretty much any stitch that you use, it's going to kind of blend in with the halo. You'll see it a bit, but it would be best probably to use the simple single double crochets with this type of yarn right here. Easier to work with. Plus, like I said, it's got such a halo on it, it's really not going to be noticeable that, that you used anything special if you tried. I mean, a little bit. Probably not worth the time and effort if you make a mistake to try to pull it out. This one um, is beautiful. You would be able to see a a bobble more on this one opposed to this one but again I think this would work great using simple stitches um, single double or a combination between single and doubles half doubles something like that you could do bobbles they would probably show up um, definitely I'm sure but again if you try mess up and you try to take them out it's going to be very hard so simple would be better with both of these two type of yarn now there's plenty of stitches that you could use with this that you could mix single double and um, half double and triple to make certain designs in your pattern and it would probably show up but for me I think I would use simple is best for these types of yarns you want to show the yarn off on these not the stitch and that's only my opinion so when I use those it'll be simple projects simple stitches it's the type of yarn you want to just be like hey look at this beautiful yarn focus on that gorgeous yarn not that stitch but anyways everybody's different you could do it how you will if you like it but I'm gonna give Premier two thumbs up for their new yarns I like them all I can't say that any of them are bad I will not diss any of this yarn that they sent me because it is all gorgeous in my opinion and I'm going to go now and I'm going to coddle my new uh, my new yarns here. I'm really drawn to these pinks and purples for some reason. So um, I'm going to take these away with me and think of something to make with them. And I appreciate everybody watching me. Now remember, I'm not affiliated with Premier. I don't care if you buy this yarn. I, I don't get money if you buy it. I'm only here to tell you my honest opinion, which what is what I did. I told you. I love it. It has everything going for me that I like, but it's not going to be for everybody if you like because of the fuzziness of it. And simple stitches would work best with these yarns here. Also, the Alaska 
going to be hard to work with, I can tell you, but it will make something very, very soft and pretty. This, you could use any stitch with, I'm sure it would show up, bobbles or anything, posts that you wanted, a very nice yarn. Um, and I showed you, this is very busy, but I did buy the green because my husband wanted a hat like this on the knitting machine. These are the same yarns, just different colors. And then I bought this for hat not hate, so to make hats on my knitting machine. So thanks everybody for watching Premiere. I love it. I love it so much. Keep it up with the new yarns. I want some more. Thanks everybody. Hey, I'll see you on my next video. Hopefully I didn't bore you. My video wasn't too long, which I'm sure it was. Uh, my goal is to keep them under 15 minutes, but I never do. I'll see you guys later, okay? I love you all. Thanks for watching my videos. Bye-bye. Stay safe, okay?